New information tonight about the shocking murder of a Harrisonville girl. Court documents now say 14-year-old Katie Rios was stabbed to death. A 16-year-old relative has been charged. KBC 9's Peggy Bright live at the Cass County Juvenile Center in Harrisonville tonight with the very latest. Peggy. Jim, the boy is held here facing the juvenile equivalent of first-degree murder. His name not released because of his juvenile status. He'd been living with Katie and her family for the past three years. In the countryside outside Harrisonville, the Rios home is filled with friends and family today. But yesterday, it was the scene of Katie's murder. Lots of friends. Lots of respect from, from the teachers. Chris Grantham knew Katie well. He's the principal at Harrisonville Middle School. Katie was seventh grade class president last year. This year, as an eighth grader, she was an honor roll student involved in dance, band, and the choir. The thing about Katie was that she would always help others uh, no matter what. And she always put others before herself. Um, she was a beautiful kid, beautiful soul. Little is known tonight about the relative accused of stabbing Katie to death. Authorities searched for him for three hours yesterday after Katie's parents found her body. He was arrested at home a few miles away. The crime has sent shockwaves through this rural community. You know, break-ins once in a while down the road or something, but nothing like this. Katie's many friends are commemorating her on Facebook tonight, all of them expressing the same sentiments as her school community. She'll be sorely missed, and, and we love her and, and hope the best for her family. The 16-year-old is due in juvenile court here on Monday. We're live in Harrisonville. Jim, back to you. Peggy, real quickly, what are the chances he will be certified to face charges as an adult? Those chances are very high because he is 16 and because this is a murder case, but he will have to go through the certification process, which could take a few weeks. All right, Peggy Bright live in Harrisonville tonight. Peggy, thank you. The Harrisonville School District has notified parents and will have counselors at the middle school next week to help students deal with Katie's death.